Let's get into this real quick. Okay, we're back with anything that moves. Look at Coinbase. Look how it dropped right here. So this is today. It fell like a rock. What happened? The SEC. It's always the SEC coming for people, right? What can we do? SEC said, okay, that's the Securities and Exchange Commission, that they're given the go-ahead for a lawsuit to come up against Coinbase, okay? So that's what this is about. So shares dropped, right? They say, oh, they're going to score this major win. Okay. Against Coinbase here. All right. So stock dropped. Let's look at the stock real quick again. Okay. So I was in the market around, okay, so 940. Here we go dropping. Okay. And now leveled off. So now it's around $263 a share. Okay. What does it look like on the daily? In the daily scheme of things, okay, we're over here, right? Okay, not too bad. But what's going to happen now? Okay, the news broke today. What is going to happen? Okay, and this is what, because they're saying that, okay, right down here. We don't see the New York Stock Exchange operating like a hedge fund, okay? Gary Gensler, that's the chairman of the SEC. So they're saying that Coinbase is doing like a couple of different roles. And, and so the Coinbase chief legal officer, he's saying, oh, you know, we were already prepared for this. You know, we knew this was coming. We're, we're ready for it. People are going to help Coinbase. Why? Look, ever since the spot ETFs and everything, look how much money has came into Coinbase. It brought in $52 million. We are, guys, we are right before the halving. 23 days, okay? That's like the Super Bowl, okay? That's the Super Bowl of the crypto community. So 23 days, yeah, people don't want to help uh, Coinbase out here, all right? Coinbase, the biggest U.S. crypto platform, right? Okay, it's profitable now after all this time. How profitable are we? All right, revenues jump 51% to, look, look at this. 53.8 million. Okay. So it's not like, oh, they can't make money. Oh, what's going to happen? Yeah, no, they're, make, they're making money. This is the part where I want to show you that part. So now everybody for the investors who want to buy it on a dip. Do you know about the three-day rule? Okay. If you know about the three-day rule, you know, you can write down in the comments below. Do you think this applies? Because in the three-day rule, you're supposed to wait. Okay, when things are dropping, why do you wait? Because it can keep falling. What's falling can keep falling for a little while because other people who've had this, right, they can get a margin call and things like that. And then they might have to sell. So we may drop some more. Okay, this is an article you could check out if you want to read about the three-day roll. So the cheap can always get cheaper, right? So you got to think about it if you want to pick up some Coinbase now because some people do want to pick it up because... The having is here. They want to buy it and hold it, you know, into the having. They're, you know, they're playing the run up. I just want you to be aware that the SEC, the SEC, is doing their thing. They're talking about this whole problem, like what is Coinbase really doing? Because is it, you know, is it acting as a clearinghouse? Is it acting as a brokerage? What is it doing? It's doing a couple of things, and if it's doing all these things, it should register as what is really as what it really is. Like, see, is the company acting as an unregistered broker and exchange, okay? And then, so the SEC said that they're going to demand the company to be, oh my God, I don't even want to say that out loud, permanently, permanently restrained, oh my gosh, from doing so. That's a problem. Well, brought it to you here. Just wanted you to know. Talk to you later. Click like and subscribe. Love you guys. Talk to you next time.